My friends, today I want to talk to you about a concept that might seem counterintuitive at first, but one that can profoundly change the way you approach life. It's the art of letting things happen, of not forcing anything. Now, I know what you might be thinking, but Jim, aren't we supposed to be go-getters? Aren't we supposed to take charge and make things happen? And you're absolutely right. Ambition and drive are essential qualities for success. But what if I told you that sometimes the harder we try to force things, the more resistance we encounter? Let me ask you a question. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're desperately trying to make something happen, but the more you push, the more it seems to slip away. Maybe it's a relationship. You're trying to salvage a job. You're trying to land or the goal you're striving to achieve. You put in all your effort. You give it your all. And yet it just doesn't seem to work out the way you want it to. That's because there's a subtle energy at play in unseen force that governs the universe when we try to force things. We're essentially going against the natural flow of life. It's like trying to swim upstream against a powerful current. You'll exhaust yourself and you might not even make any progress. But what if instead of forcing, we learn to let go? What if we trusted that the universe has a plan for us and that sometimes the best things happen when we stop struggling and allow things to unfold Naturally, I'm not saying that we should become passive or complacent far from it. What I'm suggesting is that we cultivate a state of mind where we take inspired action when the opportunity presents itself. But we also have the wisdom to recognize when it's time to step back and let things unfold. You see, when we force things, we're operating from a place of fear and scarcity. We're afraid that if we don't take control, if we don't push and shove, we'll miss out on our chance. But when we let go and trust in the process, we're coming from a place of abundance and faith. We're acknowledging that the universe has our back and that everything we need will come to us at the right time. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, B, but Jim, if I don't force things when I just end up stagnant and complacent, and that's a valid concern. But here's the thing happened doesn't mean being passive or inactive. It means being present, being aware, and taking inspired action when the opportunity to think about a sailboat on the ocean, the sailor doesn't try to force the boat in a particular direction. Instead, they skillfully adjust the sails to catch the wind, allowing the natural forces to propel them forward. They take action when needed, but they also surrender to the flow of the currents and the winds in the same way. When we let things happen, we become more attuned to the subtle signs and synchronicities that life presents to us. We learn to um, trust our intuition and follow the breadcrumbs that the universe lays out for us. And when we do that, amazing things start to unfold. I'll give you an example from my own life many years ago. I was struggling to make a business venture work. I was pushing and forcing, trying to make things happen, but nothing seemed to be going my way. I was exhausted, stressed, and on the verge of burnouts. Then one day I had a moment of clarity. I realized that I was fighting against the current and it was time to let go. So I made the difficult decision to step back and surrender, and you know what happened within a few months, an opportunity presented itself that I never could have foreseen. It was the perfect opportunity one that aligned perfectly with my skills and passions, and it all happened because I stopped forcing and allowed things to unfold naturally. Now, I'm not saying that letting things happen is always easy. Sometimes it requires a tremendous amount of patience, trust, and there will be moments when you'll be tempted to take control again to start forcing things once more. But in those moments, I encourage you to take a deep breath and ask yourself, am I forcing this because I'm coming from, from a place of fear and scarcity or am I taking inspired action from a place of abundance and trust? If it's the former, then it might be time to step back and let go. If it's the latter, then by all means take action. But do it from a place of alignment and flow, not from a place of desperation. And force my friends, the art of letting things happen is a lifelong practice. It's not something you master overnight, but when you start to embrace this concept, you'll notice a shift in your life synchronicities, will start to appear, doors will open and opportunities will present themselves in ways you never could have imagined. And the beauty of it is that when you let go of the need to control everything, you free up so much energy and mental space. No longer weighed down by the constant struggle and striving instead. You can approach life with a sense of lightness and ease, knowing that the universe has your back and that everything will unfold as it's meant to. So my friends, I encourage you to embrace the art of letting things happen, trust in the process, follow your intuition and take inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also learn to surrender, to let go, and to allow the natural flow of life to carry you towards your highest good it might seem counterintuitive at first, but I promise you it's a path that leads to true freedom, joy, and fulfillment. So let go of the need to force things and watch as the universe conspires in your favor, bringing you opportunities and experiences beyond your wildest dreams. 
My friends, I know that embracing the art of letting things happen can be a challenging concept to put into practice. Our minds are so conditioned to believe that we must always be in control, that we must force and strive and push in order to achieve our goals. But what if I told you that there's a different way of P that requires less struggle and striving and yet can lead to even greater fulfillment and success? So when we force things, we're operating from a place of fear and scarcity. We're afraid that if we don't take control, if we don't push and shove, we'll miss out our chance. But when we let go and trust in the process, we're coming from a place of abundance and faith. We're acknowledging that the universe has our back and that everything we need will come to us at the right. I know this can be a difficult concept to wrap our minds around, especially in a society that constantly tells us that we need to hustle, grind, and force our way to the top. But what if I told you that this approach, while it may lead to short-term gains, often comes at a great cost, the cost of burnout stress, and a constant state of struggle, and striving when we let things happen. On the other hand, we open ourselves up to a flow of energy and opportunity that is far more powerful than anything we could force on. Saying our own, it's like riding the current of a mighty river. Rather than trying to swim against it, we become attuned to the subtle signs and synchronicities that life presents to us, and we learn to trust our intuition and follow the breadcrumbs that the universe lays out for us now. I'm not saying that. Letting things happen means being passive or inactive far from it. It means being present, being aware, and taking inspired action. When the opportunity arises, it's about striking a balance between effort and surrender, between taking action and allowing things to unfold. Naturally think about a farmer. A farmer doesn't force the crops to grow. Instead, they create the right conditions for growth by preparing the soil, planting the seeds, and tending to the fields. But ultimately, they surrender to the natural process of growth trusting that the seeds will sprout and the plant will flourish in their own time in the same way. When we let things happen, we create the right conditions for our goals and dreams to manifest. We take inspired action. We put in the effort. But we also surrender to the natural unfolding of events, trusting that the universe will conspire in our favor. And the beauty of this approach is three, that it frees us from the constant struggle. And striving that so often leads to burnout and disappointment. Instead of feeling like we're constantly swimming upstream, we learn to ride the currents of life, allowing them to carry us towards our highest good. But let me be clear, letting things happen is not about being passive or complacent. It's about being actively present and aware and taking action when the opportunity presents itself. It's about striking a balance between effort and surrender, between doing and being think about a successful entrepreneur or a creative artist. They don't force their ideas or products onto the market. And instead, they create something that resonates with people, something that speaks to a deeper need or desire they put in the effort. They do the work but they also surrender to the natural flow of events, trusting that if their creation is truly valuable, it will find its way into the world. And when we approach our goals and dreams with this mindset, something amazing happens. Doors start to open opportunities, present themselves, and synchronicities appear that we never could have planned for or forced into existence, I'll give you. Another example from my own life a few years ago, I was working on a book project that I was deeply passionate about. I poured my heart and soul into it, writing and rewriting, researching and refining, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to find a publisher who was interested in taking it on. For a while I forced and pushed, sending out query after query, trying to make things happen. But the more I pushed, the more resistance I encountered. It was like trying to force a square peg into a round hole. No matter how hard I tried, it just wasn't working. Then one day I had a realization I needed to let go. I needed to surrender this project to the universe and trust that if it was meant to be, it would find its way into the world. So I steed back, I stopped forcing, and I focused my energy on to other projects and pursuits. And you know what happened? A few months later, out of the blue, I received an email from a publisher who had heard about my book through a mutual connection. They were interested in publishing it. And they offered me a deal that was better than anything I could have hoped for or forced into existence. It was a powerful reminder that when we let go of the need to control and force things, when we surrender to the natural flow of life, amazing things, Things can happen, opportunities present themselves that we never could have planned for or anticipated indoors. Kropen that we never knew existed, my friends. I know that embracing the art of letting things happen can be a challenging journey. It requires patience, trust, and a willingness to let go of our need for control. But I promise you it's a path that leads to greater freedom, joy, and fulfillment than any amount of forcing or striving ever could. So the next time you find yourself struggling and striving pushing and forcing, I encourage you to take a step back and ask yourself, am I coming from a place of fear and scarcity, or am I coming from a place of abundance and trust? If it's the former, 
then it might be time to let go and surrender if it's the latter. Then by all means, take inspired action, but do it from a place of alignment and flow, not from a place of desperation and force. And remember, letting things happen doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It means being active present and aware taking action when the opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural unfolding of events. It's a delicate dance, a balance between effort and surrender, between doing and being. And when we master this dance, when we learn to let things happen, we open ourselves up to a world. It's a possibility and abundance that far exceeds anything we could ever force into existence. So my friends, I encourage you to embrace the art of letting things happen, trust in the process, follow your intuition and take inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also learn to surrender to let and to allow the natural flow of life to carry you towards your highest good. It might seem counterintuitive at first, but I promise you it's a path that leads to true freedom, joy and fulfillment. So let go seeing the need to force things and watch as the universe conspires in your favor, bringing you opportunities and experiences beyond your wildest dreams. My friends, as I've been sharing with you the art of letting things happen, I know that some of you might still have doubts or reservations. After all, it can seem counterintuitive to let go and surrender when our society constantly tells us to hustle, grind, and force our way to the top. But what if I told you that this very act of surrender of letting go is what will ultimately lead you to your greatest success and fulfillment? What if I told you that embracing the flow of life rather than constantly fighting against it You'll find yourself carried towards opportunities and experiences that far exceed anything you could have forced into existence. You see, my friends, there's a powerful force at work in the universe, a force that governs the natural TB and flow of all things. When we try to force our way through life, we're essentially swimming against this current, expending tremendous energy and often making little progress. But when we learn to surrender, when we let go and allow ourselves to be carried by this current something remarkable happens, doors start to, synchronicities appear and opportunities present themselves that we never could have planned for or anticipated. It's like the story of a a river, a river doesn't force its way through the landscape. Instead, it flows around obstacles, carving its path with patience and persistence. And in doing so, it creates breathtaking canyons, fertile valleys, and life-giving oses along its journey in the same way when we let go and allow ourselves to flow with the currents of life, we create something beautiful. And profound, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and abundance that far exceeds anything we could have for into existence. But I know what some of you might be thinking, if I let go and surrender, won't I just end up stagnant and complacent? Won't I lose my drive and ambition? And to that I say, absolutely not letting things happen is not about being passive or complacent. It's about being actively present and aware, taking inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural unfolding of events. Think about a successful entrepreneur or creative artists, they don't force their ideas or products onto market. Instead, they create something that resonates with people, something that speaks to a deeper need or desire they put in the effort, they do the work, but they also surrender to the natural flow of events, trusting that if their creation is truly valuable, it will find its way into the world. And when we approach our goals and dream with this mindset, something amazing happens, we become more attuned to the subtle signs and synchronicities that life presents to us. We learn to trust our intuition and follow the breadcrumbs that the universe lays out. For us, it's like being a sailor on the open sea. A skilled sailor doesn't try to force their way through the waves and currents. Instead, they learn to read the winds and tides adjusting their sails and course accordingly. They take action when needed, but they also surrender to the natural forces at play. And when we approach life with this same mindset, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and adventure. We navigate the currents and tides of life, taking inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural flow of events, my friends. I know that embracing the art of letting things happen, it can be a challenging journey. It requires patience, trust, and a willingness to let go of our need for control. But I promise you, it's a path that leads to greater freedom, joy, and fulfillment than any amount of forcing or striving ever could. So the next time you find yourself struggling and striving, pushing, and forcing, I encourage you to take a step back and ask yourself, am I coming from a place of fear and scarcity, or am I coming from a place of abundance and trust? If if it's the former, then it might be time to let go and surrender. If it's the latter, then by all means, take inspired action, but do it from a place of alignment and flow not from a place of desperation and force. And remember, letting things happen doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It means being actively present and aware, taking action. The 
this opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural unfolding of events. It's a delicate dance of balance between effort and surrender between doing and being. And when we master this dance, when we learn to let things happen, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and abundance that far exceeds anything we could ever force into existence, my friends. I know that for some of you, the concept of letting things happen might still seem elusive or difficult to grasp. And that's okay, it's a journey, a practice that will continue to refine and embody throughout our lives. But I encourage you to keep an open mind and an open heart, pay attention to the synchronicities and signs that life presents to you, listen to your intuition, and have the courage to follow the breadcrumbs that the universe lays out for you. And above all, remember that you are deeply loved and supported by a benevolent thanks universe that wants nothing more than for you to thrive and flourish when you let go and surrender to this truth. Amazing things can happen. So let go of a need to force things and watch as the universe conspires in your favor, bringing you opportunities and experiences beyond your wildest dreams. Trust in the process. Follow your intuition and take inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also learn to surrender to let go and to allow the natural flow of life to carry you towards your highest good. It might seem counterintuitive at first, but I promise you it's a path that leads to true freedom, joy, and fulfillment a path that will fill your life with more beauty, synchronicity, and abundance than you ever thought possible. My friends, as we explore this concept of letting things happen, of surrendering to the natural flow of life, I want to address a common concern that many of us share the fear of losing control. We live in a society that constantly reinforces the idea that we must be in control at all times, in control of our circumstances, our careers, our relationships, and even our own thoughts and emotions. And so the idea of letting go of surrendering control can be deeply unsettling for many of us. But what if I told you that this very need for control, often what holds us back from achieving true freedom, joy, and fulfillment in our lives? What if I told you that by learning to let go, to surrender to the natural unfolding of events, you'll actually gain a deeper sense of control, not control over external circumstances, but control of your inner state of being. You see, my friends, when we cling to the need for control, we're operating from a place of fear and scarcity. We're afraid that if we don't hold on tightly, if we don't micromanage every aspect of our lives, everything will fall apart. But the truth is, the more we try to control, is, the more resistance we encounter. It's like trying to hold water in our clenched fists. The tighter we grip, the more it slips through our fingers when we let go. However, when we surrender to the natural flow of life, something remark, we begin to tap into a deeper wellspring of trust and faith. Trust the benevolent forces that govern the universe and faith in our own ability to adapt and flow with whatever life brings our way. It's like being a leaf on the surface of a stream. When we cling to the riverbank, trying to control our circumstances, we risk being battered and torn by the currents. When we let go and surrender to the flow, we're carried gracefully along, navigating the twists and turns with ease and grace. And in that state of surrender, we paradoxically gain a deeper sense of control, not control over external events, but control over our inner state of being. We cultivate a sense of equinity, a deep acceptance of whatever life brings our way, knowing that we have the innate resilience and resourcefulness to adapt and thrive, my friends. I know that letting go of the need for control can be one of the greatest challenges we face in our lives. It requires a profound shift in our mindset, a willingness to step into the unknown and trust that the universe has our back but I promise you it's a journey that is well worth taking for when we let go of the need to control, we open ourselves see up to a world possibility. An abundance that far exceeds anything we could have forced into existence. You think about a bird in flight, a bird doesn't try to control the winds or the currents of air. Instead, it surrenders to them, using them to soar and glide with effortless grace. It's in a state of surrender, the bird achieves a level of freedom and mastery, that would be impossible if it were constantly trying to force its way through the skies. In the same way, when we let go and surrender to the natural flow of life, we tap into a deeper well of wisdom and intuition. We become tuned to the subtle signs and synchronicities that life presents to us, and we learn to navigate the currents and tides of existence with grace and ease. But let me be clear, you letting things happen surrender to the flow does not mean being passive or complacent. It means being actively present, aware, taking inspired action when the opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural unfolding of events. It's a delicate dance, a balance between effort and surrender between doing and being. And when we master this dance, when we learn to let things happen, we open ourselves up to the world of possible and abundance that far exceeds anything we could ever force into existence. My friends, I know that 
Embracing the art of letting things happen can be a challenging journey. It requires patience, trust, and a willingness to let go of our need for control. But I promise you, it's a path. So that leads to greater freedom, joy, and fulfillment than any amount of forcing or striving ever could. So the next time you find yourself strug strolling and striving, pushing, and forcing, I encourage you to take a step back. And ask yourself, am I coming from a place of fear and scarcity, or am I coming from a place of abundance and trust? If it's the former, then it might be time to let go and surrender. If it's the latter, then by all means, take inspired action. But do it from a place of alignment and flow, not from a place of desperation and force. And remember, letting things happen doesn't mean being passive or complacent. It means being actively present and aware taking action when the opportunity arises, but also surrendering to the natural unfolding of events. It's a delicate dance, a balance between effort and surrender, between doing and being. And when we master this dance, when we learn to let things happen, we open ourselves up to a world of possibility and abundance that far exceeds anything we could ever force into existence. My friends, I know that for some of you, the concept of letting things happen might still feel elusive or challenging, to embody, and that's okay. It's a journey, a practice that we'll continue to refine and embody throughout our lives. But I encourage you to keep an open mind and an open heart, pay attention to the synchronicities and signs that life presents to you. Listen to your intuition, have the courage to follow the breadcrumbs that universe lays out for you. And above all, remember that you are deeply loved and supported by a benevolence universe that wants nothing more than for you to thrive and flourish when you let go and surrender to this truth, amazing things can happen. So let go of the need to force things and watch as the universe conspires in your favor, bringing you opportunities and experiences beyond your wildest dreams. Trust in the process, follow your intuition and take inspired action when the opportunity arrives as. But also learn to surrender, to let go and to allow the natural flow of life to carry you towards your highest good might seem counterintuitive at first, but I promise you it's a path that leads to true freedom, joy, and fulfillment, a path that will fill your life with more beauty, synchronicity, and abundance than you ever thought possible.